How's it going everybody? I'm Driftwood. This is an RPG Maker MV tutorial class spotlight video where we're going to look at the Black Mage in Final Fantasy XI uh, and how to convert that class into uh, Final Fantasy or from Final Fantasy XI to uh, RPG Maker MV. So this is going to be a huge tutorial probably so I'm going to jump right into it and just get started with it. First thing we're going to do is take a look at the class and the the skills and the animations. Now I've set this uh, this character to level 99 and I'm fighting level 5 stuff we're gonna go through the stuff the enemies I have in the game so you could take a look at uh, just basically the animations and the skills and, and uh, the difference in numbers now I forced this game to run at 144 because there's so much to get through I want to do it quickly so let's get started uh, right off the bat I've replaced attack with uh, using Yanfly weapon uh, replace or weapon unleash plugin so I'm doing an attack replace to create its uh, custom on staff attack so it's just uh, when you attack you know you're gonna reuse a skill instead of attacking uh, limit burst we'll look at those at the end some of the limit burst black mage is gonna get so let's take a look at uh, we have a ton of spells you can see uh, there's a lot okay so if I, the black mage in Final Fantasy 11 gets a ton so let's just go ahead and run through them stone earth elemental attack I'm still working on an idea on how to create that um, uh, battle system that'll go from one Instead of exiting combat and entering combat, I'm working on an idea that might work um, with some of the newer plugins that came out to make it so you don't have to exit combat to go to the next phase, but I'll talk about that later. Um, so, poison. It's going to do some uh, venom damage, or poison damage. Or no, it is venom damage, okay? It's the same icon, though, and it's a 60% chance to inflict a state of poison. Blind is going to do no damage, but it's going to have a 60% chance to inflict blind on your target. Water, simple, tier 1, a water spell. Arrow, uh, wind magic, basic damage. Now, the, the tier 1 skills don't have um, timers on them, but all of the others will have cooldowns. So, the difference that I've made in poison, I've made poison work like bio. I have made some adjustments to make the skills useful and, and still work inside of uh, MV. So, everything is pretty close to how Eleven does it, but some things have been changed up and values, of course, it's hard to replicate the, the, the values um, exactly. So, Drain is going to take HP and heal the, uh, the. If you're low on HP, it's going to actually do more damage. We're going to look at all, everything in the database after this. I'm going to go through it just to show everything off first. And then if it's something that you like. Stoniga is your AoE version of uh, your your basic tier 1 stone. So basically it's going to cost more MP. It's going to have a very similar damage formula to the tier 1. But it's going to be area of effect. And it has a cooldown. That's where the cooldowns kind of start. Uh, Drain and uh, Asper will have longer cooldowns as they do in Final Fantasy XI. Shocks. Uh, these, these currently... Um, just do damage over time, but I'm going to use the new plugin that um, that was released for the Yanfly engine that's got a uh, easy DOT. So I'm going to remake Shock, uh, and I think that would be a good idea to do. Uh, so you could probably replace the the way that I'm doing these to um, set them up to work similar one to the tier one damage spells, but have them work with the new plugin, which uh, I might do a tutorial on. I mean, it's pretty simple, but. Um, and I love, I love how it works, but I, I still need to, like, you know, officially add it and, and make it work with my DOTs in here. So that's the next thing I'm going to do on this project is, is start updating uh, to adding a few more plugins. Now, uh, I started using um, the Preloader Core, which is making this a lot easier from uh, SRD, which is, I don't know, I guess it's my favorite SRD plugin right now. It's simple. It's, it's, it's like... Because usually these animations, it would take a second if, if you use them the first time. And when you have like 500 custom animations, uh, the preloader core, nice job, Robert. Um, I know that's been around for a while, but um, I've always given plugins a, a cool off period, time for everyone to catch the bugs before I start to use it. Okay, so that's that. Um, we're going to go ahead and move to the next set of battles here. Now, keep in mind that... I'm level 99, so it's not going to be a challenge. It's going to show off the skills. Um, Thunder, Frost is the same thing. It's going to inflict the DOT uh, and reduce the stat uh, correlating with the, the actual the type. I think Ice reduces your um, magic attack power. I believe that's what it is. That or magic defense. Um, so Poison Ga. Uh, like I said, I changed some of them up. Poison actually deals damage just like Bio, but not as much as Bio. 
and it also applies to DOT with a higher chance to poison than bio but bio adds its own thing and so poison and bio will stack just like they do in Final Fantasy 11 so burn same thing it's gonna not deal damage but it's going to well it will deal damage but it's a damage over time effect um, Aspear is going to drain MP from creatures that have MP. Let's see if this, yeah, this person, that uh, creature had MP. You can see the DOT on it was based on my parameters, not its percentage base. And so it took 2,000 damage over time. It'll take that for five turns. So that really uh, adds up. Um, but I'm going to change those around so because it's a lot of code to make that work. Um, and it works fine, but I want to make it simpler in the project. So, uh, Drown, same thing. DOT, reduce attack power, reduce the stat, you know. And if I were to guard, we'll see that he takes damage. Dissolving staff, he's going to go and then take damage and die from the damage over time. So, Fyraga, AoE, Tier 1 Fire Spell. Uh, the, the Aga spells, I think they have a slightly higher uh, value. <clears throat> like, they do a little more damage, but they cost a lot more. Uh, Water 2 going to do um, the second tier we'll notice that once you start getting to the second tier and the Aga spells we're starting to see a cooldown here now you can notice that it's like 3.6 or 1.8 because it's not static because we're I'm still using a tick based turn system it's tick based battle system inside of a turn based engine so it doesn't work exactly turn for turn but it still functions correctly um, I might change the battle system later on I have changed it a few times already sleep good this is a great spell puts everybody to sleep with a 60% chance we got three out of four there, not bad. Um, I'm also going to reduce the animation speed quite a bit. Um, and not not so much the speed, but the size of the animations. I'm using uh, several Yanfly plugins that we'll go over before the the end of this tutorial. This is a lot to go through. Um, that was a default animation. I don't think I changed that one. It was a Yanfly one. Now, I have probably three or four hundred custom animations but there are some skills that still use built-in and default animations which will be cycled out eventually this game still has a long way to go um severely okay that guy was weak that was a boss weak to win so that lined up perfectly that uh arrow two hit it so uh, a damage cap using um we're capping damage there you saw it went 9999 it would have done more probably like 15 or 20,000, uh, because uh we're using uh damage core yeah plays damage core Go in here. Let's take on the next set of difficulty fights. Let's fight level 15 stuffs at level 99 black mage. It's just gonna wreck everything. Um, so bio two, single target. Boom. Dot would have been applied 60% of the time. Thundaga AOE, but there's only one there. Moving on to the next one, fire two. Stonega 2, and they're, they're all associated with their elements, so Stonega is going to be Earth Element, you know, Fyraga is going to be Fire Element, and all the creatures have their own element rates, um, so, but that's beside the point, I mean, this is for the Black Mage here, Sleep 2, but I'm just saying, like, the Black Mage is real important because of that, um, doing, you know, attacking one creature with fire might yield a, fire 1 or fire 2, whatever, is going to yield a completely different damage result if you attack that same creature with, like, its weakness or what it's strong to, um, so the damage... Uh, will be multiplied. So if you know your enemy, uh, I'm probably going to introduce a Libra skill that lets you scan the enemy besides just having to test so that you'll be able to... Um... Uh, another side thought idea that I had was uh, another plugin from SRD. He keeps he keeps impressing me. They He made the summon pr plugin, which I thought was really cool, and I think I've given it enough time to catch a lot of bugs. I'm going to check it out. Because I think I'm going to use that plugin to do the Beastmaster. Uh, and maybe even change my idea of how I was going to do the Summoner skill. Uh, well, obviously it's going to work for that. Um, but I think Puppet Master, Beastmaster, uh, which those two had a lot of question marks for me. How am I going to do those those classes? Because you know I'm recreating all the Final Fantasy XI classes in this game. Freeze. Uh, this is a... Uh, okay, so Freeze and... Uh, what is it? Tornado, Quake... Uh, uh, burst and flood and flare they those are all uh, arcane magics and they basically have a large cooldown but they break the damage cap so the black mage will be able to go from 10k cap to 100k cap on certain spells you saw we hit him for like 13k so let's go back to stone 3 but they also cost a lot of MP but at level 99 the black mage is gonna have so much MP because that's kind of its focus right it's it's other stats are pretty low like it only has 10k HP when like a warrior or a monk would have like probably triple that um, So let's move on to the next challenge right here
Tornado is another arca uh, Arcane. 19k on that. Viraga. Uh, tier 2 AoE. I am using Yanfly's Targeting Core, but I'm not allowing single target spells to be uh, AoE. Um, so that's restricted because some spells are specifically for area of attack and other spells are specifically for single attack. So I didn't... Well, okay, let's see. Does it go like that? Yeah. Right. So that's something I'm going to restrict in the future. You see how if I'm using targeting core and I press left, left, and I can actually target AoE with that? I'm going to restrict that. That's going to be restricted so that you can't do that. Um, even if I have to take out the targeting core to make that work, I don't think... I think I'll find a way to make it work. Um, but I want single target spells to be only single target, and I want uh, area of effect spells to be area of effect only. So that it's specifically for, otherwise there's no point in having um, Blizzard and Blizzaga, right, if they do the same thing. Unless you want to alternate the formula for them, uh, the timers on them. I mean, you could still make it work if you do it that way, but I specifically don't want it to work that way because that's not how it works on 11. And I want to mimic 11 uh, to a certain extent that, uh, as long as it still stays balanced. A lot of the, the animations you, you're seeing are, um, they are taken from default, um, what do you call it, patterns, but then the animations have been changed with using batching, the the images have been changed, the sound effects have been altered, pitch shift, the, the screen flashes, some of them, most of them have been removed, <clears throat> the target flashes have been recolored, so everything has gone in, I've, I've gone in and everything's been changed one step at a time. So this is the next tier of the, a similar boss. Fire 3, you would think a plant would be weak to fire, but it's not. It's actually weak to wind. Because it's actually a ground type, and in Final Fantasy XI, uh, Earth magic is weak to wind. So that's how it works. That's why I'm setting this guy ground type, nature, or venom type, and uh, weak to wind. Because it just fits the theme of how I'm making the game. So this game, uh, I've said it several times before, is taking a lot of draw from Final Fantasy XI and Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Um, which I recently got back into. Um, it's such a good game. You guys need to check out Record Keeper if you haven't already. Um, it, it's one of the few games that handles Gashapon correctly. You don't have to spend anything. They give you tons of stuff just for logging in. Um, Thunder 3. This is the third tier. And we're getting to um, longer timers as you reach to these spells. You can see we've already hit the point where everything is taking 10k damage. Because we're level 99 and it's based on your stats. Your, your character's parameters. Oh, excuse me. So there's no real point in actually uh, getting past this tier or you spending bigger spells, except for the fact that maybe your your tier 3 is, is timed and the tier 2 doesn't do enough damage to kill it in one hit. So the next thing after I add, uh, I finish adding a lot of other things uh, that I've previously mentioned, I, I kind of need to add a lot more enemies. So I might make a, uh, another episode on making a monster. Because I think that's a good way to go about it. It takes a lot of time to, to develop a single monster because you have to think about this monster is going to have a certain set of skills. Three to five skills that are all custom made. Not attack, not double attack, not dual attack, none of that bullshit. You're going to give him, well, I'm going to give him, uh, base, I give all the enemies custom abilities. All of them. Like So they would, you may have noticed that some of the abilities that the enemies are using, none of them even use attack. They all have like different types of abilities. Blizzard 4, get into the tier 4 ice magic. Now I am going quite uh, faster, like see hammer, instead of attack he's got a hammer. You know, uh, he's, I think the bosses are getting a lot more. Water 5, this should kill him. Swipe, that's an AoE so it'll really hurt your party. Another thing I was thinking about, now I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. Because in Final Fantasy XI, you're allowed to have up to 6 party members in a party. But that's quite excessive and kind of a lot to think about and a lot to handle. Um, I'm thinking about dropping it down to five party members. Right now, the game has been set to work with six party members. But I'm thinking about dropping it to five party members because I think six is just a little excessive in a, in a side view battle system like this. Um, it all fits on the screen, but kind of barely, you know. So the bandits, I don't think they have MP. Oh, they do. So you, I drained a bunch of MP from them. You can see a longer cooldown on those. Break is going to add Petrify. So basically... He should be doing nothing. When he's petrified, he's just there, and he'll stay petrified forever. Because petrification never wears off unless... You can see that? The battle's over, and, and he's still alive because he's turned to stone. Another thing I would like to do is make it so that 
it doesn't just show an SB animation like that, but it actually turns his sprites, but that'll be a big switch. So uh, making petrification turn them to stone and lock them in place is, is sort of a hard job to get right. So that's the way it works right now. If they're petrified, they're counted as dead. And um, we'll get into that skill in a little bit. So that was Blizzard 5. And now finally uh, Thunder 5, which would be the, the highest level spell. Uh, it's not the most powerful spell because the break arcane magic breaks the damage cap. But that's basically it for all of the, the black magic. Now, in all of these all of these classes, they have an ability uh, skill type and a magic skill type if they can use magic. So let's look at the black mage ability. Now, the fact that it has so many spells, it's going to have very few actual abilities. So Monofot is the ultimate ability. It starts at level 1. It doesn't cost anything, and it's an instant. But basically, it's going to reduce the spell cost of all of your um, spells uh, to 0 MP for 5 turns with an additional wisdom bonus so this is magic attack power plus 30 percent now in final fantasy 11 is given a magic attack power bonus but i've had to buff all of the two hour abilities you can see we've got a 30 cooldown so basically um i i just i kind of buffed them all i mean it's just to sometimes the reason why i had to do that really is because some of the uh, two hour abilities the natural two hour ability is just so strong when you convert it into an mv project that some of the other ones needed a buff so i buffed them all but i buffed some of them more than the others based on their utility and their uh their their power i'm just trying to balance it that way so like i said uh, Final Fantasy XI doesn't give the attack magic attack bonus, but uh, in this game it does. So Elemental Seal is going to increase magic attack power by three turn, four three turns by 50%. So this is different from how it works in um, Final Fantasy XI as well. Now in, in Final Fantasy XI, Elemental Seal will increase the accuracy of your your um, your spell. So it sort of does something similar because when you increase the accuracy of an attack spell, it's going to land more of its rolls, uh, so it'll result in more damage. So to mimic that effect. I have just uh, increased the damage. Now this stacks with Monofont, and they are instant. So you're going to really stack up your damage quite a bit if you use them at the same time. But they last for five turns and three turns consecutively with longer cooldowns, so you won't be able to use them all the time. Now, uh, Mono Wall is another ability that um, has, is they're all instant, uh, and they don't cost any resources to use. Now this one is using Yanfly's Absorption Barrier, and it's basically gonna create um, a thousand damage wall that just absorbs a uh, thousand damage it'll last up to 20 rounds and it gives you a standard 1000 that's not how it's going to be in the final version that's how it works now though um, I'm thinking about making it in a variable amount based on your max MP so I'm thinking like if you have a max MP of 3000 it'll give you 3000 barrier for um, I don't know if I'll make the rounds a static number or a variable number, but we'll work on that. Currently, how it stands, it works. It adds a bonus. The Black Mage is super strong. Um, the downside is the Black Mage gets very little HP, so it is kind of squishy and can't use anything but Mage Armor. So that's it, guys. Let's take a look. Let's finish this fight with, uh, let's see, a Quake. Bam! How much damage are we going to do? 31,000 with all our bonuses and breaking the damage cap. So even at level 99 fighting these things, we're not breaking the the hard damage cap of 10 of 100,000 yet. Um, so there is still room to grow. Um, the, the level cap in this game is 1,000. I don't expect anyone to ever get that far. Uh, I doubt anyone will even hit 99. I, I don't know though. Some people may like this game. Um, let's take a look at some of the... the um, the limit burst. Now, limit bursts are the skills you may think, okay, all of these things are MP based and and instance with no resource cost. So what the point? What's the point of the uh, the black mage having TP? Limit burst is the reason for that. Limit burst. All of these are going to require 100 TP, but in order to just make this faster, I've got rid of the cost. So all of these are going to require 100 TP to use. So let's take a look at Sunfire Flare. They will be awarded at different times in the game, and depending on what weapons you use. Uh, and maybe I haven't fully set when you're gonna get these, but you'll get these for the black mage at some point in the game So um, they're all custom uh, Action sequences and I have separate videos on them if you want to see how I did those I go through the code and you can kind of copy paste the code. So ice beam right here And finally there will be more added but right now I've only got four if you want the copy paste code for um, Upstrike, it's on the website. That's already up there. And then Fire Boom. Now the reason why I didn't copy paste these codes is because I'm using custom 
sprites for in the animations fo folder, and I'm also using uh, DG underscore place animation to make it work. I'm calling a common event inside of the um, the action sequence itself. So I think this guy is weak to water. So let's go ahead and hit him with a flood. Let's go ahead and let's try to one shot it. Well, we already hit him a ton, so there's flood. So let's just hit him with a flood. Bam. You can, you may notice that that costed no MP there because we were still on the last round of uh, Monophon, I believe. Or maybe I just didn't see it. Anyway, now we're back to it costing MP. Flood didn't kill him. Uh, let's try Flare. I think he's strong to fire, though. Flare needs to be changed, because when you use it on a boss, like these uh, these uh, giant bosses, you know, with uh, animated sprites, it, it still it looks like it's hitting too high. So maybe I'll change it so that the anchor point's lower. I'm still going to work on that. But anyway, let's go with the Blizzard 5. should finish him. Bam. Critical hit on that. I think he's strong to ice, but whatever. We're so overpowered at this point that um, it didn't make much of a difference. So that's all the skills for the Black Mage. Now, look, that was a 20-minute showcase. Also threw in some extra stuff I was, I was thinking about. But basically, that is what we're going to be creating. That right there is what we're going to be creating. So let's jump into the database. I want to jump through this kind of quickly because it's going to be super long. So you're going to need some plugins to make this work. You need Gamefly's core engine based parameter control. You're going to need class based parameters. You're going to need um, you're going to need message core, extended message message pack for some of the icons. If you copy the descriptions verbatim, you're going to need um, battle engine core, action sequence pack one two three, uh, animated SV enemies probably. Um, you're going to need the weapons one. Let's see. Hold on. We'll just work our way down. Um, and let's see. I'm using eight. I would recommend a lot of the ones that I have, and I'm going to actually add a few more and maybe turn off a couple of them. Extended DOT here, so I have already added it there. Um, I actually need to integrate it though. This is a good plugin, man. I like this plugin. Okay, state categories. No, 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 no. That that one. Damage core you need. Uh, visual state effects is uh, a good one to have for if you're going to put in uh, the the state animation pl uh, in the states. You know, the no tag in the states, you'll need that one, which is a sub, which is requires buff state score. So you need buff state score to make this work. Um, let's see. Uh, element core. You're definitely going to need element core. You should definitely put in element core. Such a great plugin. Okay. Um, what else would you need? Lifesteal for the Dark Knight, but we're not going to do the Dark Knight yet because I'm still working on a few skills for Dark Knight. Um, you're going to need that plugin eventually and get it. It's good. Overkill bonus. I just recommend that because it's great. Um, target core debatable i might have to take it out or i have to rework it I, I think i could find something i haven't really tried to do it yet so but i just, I, I know what i want to do i just haven't you know syntax is always a problem so um area of effect i've turned that off okay let's see item core for some of the you, i won't go over all the gear that'll just be too long but you will need the skill core you will need limited no no you will need the skill core uh you will need skill cooldowns you will need instant cast and I believe that's that's going to do it. Uh, equip score, uh, equip score, <laughs> equip core uh, for for the gear in my game. I definitely needed my game, but you will need weapon unleash uh, and weapon animation if you want. I recommend that one as well. Status menu core recommended. Um, I think I think that's really all that's necessary. Um, what else do I? Um, anyway, I'm going through this kind of slow. You could always pause and see which ones I'm using. If you're having trouble, you can check it out and see, okay, well, he's using this one. Uh, this is not working on this. Okay, uh, place animation for my uh, uh, action sequencing. That's what I need. Um, and I highly recommend SRD's Preloader Core. That's a good plugin. If you're going to have a ton of action, uh, a ton of animations, it'll speed up the game overall. You won't have to see them before you do it. So, um, not necessary, but uh, recommended. Okay, so let's jump into the database and see what we need to do to get this working. Starting at the top, you're going to create an actor that can be a class. Uh, this is all of this is actually you don't need any of this actually. So jump into the classes. You're going to create a new class, call it the Black Mage or whatever you want to call it really, but it's basically Final Fantasy XI's version of a Black Mage. You're not going to use parameter curves right here. That's why we're using Yanfly plugins, the class-based parameter plugins and extensions to actually control. Um, it's right here. Now I am I am using the experience curve, and I'm letting experience go pretty fast. So I'm setting 15 across the board there. 
Um, look at the, the note tags here, custom class parameters. We're going to max HP is level times 100 plus 100. Max MP level times 36 plus 50. Um, attack, now these aren't just random arbitrary numbers. These have all been balanced out to work how I want them to work. You can change them to work in your game. Now, all of my classes will be balanced with each other. So if you've been following along, I've already done the warrior, the monk, the white mage. Um, you'll see that uh, they all kind of add up to a similar total value. And I think it works that way. There may be off a point or two based on how much MP and, X, uh, and uh, HP. So th these I recommend doing it this way because these are unreliable way of doing it. And the numbers get too high and convoluted after level 100. So attack is super low, the lowest it can get, basically. Well, I mean, it can go to 1. But, uh, you, you know, it's super low. All the classes, that, the Black Mage and the Summoner, are going to have the weakest melee attack. So ATK equals level times 2. Defense equals level times three. Now, I've purposely kept these simple. I had uh, other formulas before, you know, dividing um, by um, just different. Yeah, I had a bunch of stuff in parentheses. This is simple. This is easy. It makes it a steady growth. Uh, you may want diminishing returns that you can eclipse. Uh, you can add stuff to the end in, with parentheses, but this is very simple. So, magic attack level times nine. This is where it shines. It's got a lot of max MP, a lot of magic attack. Magic defense level times 6, agility level times 5, luck level times 5 in class, uh, custom class parameters. Uh, I'm using Yanfly's skill learn system. You don't actually need that uh, if you don't want to do that that way. Now, I'm using it uh, mainly for a stat-based growth, but I think SRD is working on a plugin to make that easier, so we'll see how that goes. Um, equip slot, um, I'm, I'm letting the black mage use weapon, a limit burst, head, earring, neck, back, chest, waist, hands, ring, legs, feet, and a relic. Way too many. You do not need that many. I don't know why I have that many. It's just because Final Fantasy XI lets you equip a lot of gear. So, um, giving it Icon 71 to be different for you. So that's just completely different. Look at the traits here. Now, all my classes are going to have preserved TP. Um, if you're using enhanced TP, you can just toggle that into the parameters, uh, and just you don't have to set a special flag on every uh, class. Uh, so you can. I'm not using enhanced TP on this. I might add it later. Probably not. I don't know. It's a great plugin, but just for how I wanted to, how the, I want this game to work, I think just um, the default how how the the, the engine handles TP works fine, so I'm setting pr preserved TP. Um, like I said, my thing is, things might change later. Special parameter target rate is reduced by 90, so giving this is optional. Uh, the black mage is very squishy, so there's a 10% chance less uh, aggro rate compared to like a warrior that have a 110% chance. Very very minor thing. You can leave that 100, it won't change very much. Hit rate has been dropped dramatically, so the hit rate on the black mage, which is the melee attack accuracy. Set to plus 77 percent. I think it's 94 or 95 by default, or something like that. 90, I don't know. It's, it's I've dropped it a lot because I'm using a plugin to uh, based on weapon skills. Um, oh, I should probably talk about that super quick. There's a plugin I'm using to increase the accuracy of weapons. Um, what is it called? It's called Galv's Weapon Proficiencies. So I'm using this plugin to set um, a hit hit chance bonus and a critical hit uh, bonus up to a total of 100 levels and uh, 0.2 for each level so 20 percent accuracy 20 percent crit bonus if they've mastered the level the more you kill stuff the more the better you, and while you're using that weapon the better you're going to get with that le that weapon so at the most if the black mage masters her weapon he's killing everything with it it's going to have a 97 percent hit rate minus the target's evasion so um it, it's pretty low by default but anyway Evasion rate, the Black Mage isn't super agile. I mean, it, it needs to be able to dodge something, but evasion, I've, it's so powerful, I had to nerf it in some way. So evasion rate, 3%. A critical rate, 4%. So it does so much damage that uh, I might think, I'm thinking about making items that will increase that later. But right now, critical rate, 4% instead of 5%, like I normally do. It can use daggers and staffs, uh, general armor, mage armor, um, which is like, uh, general armor is like your headpiece or like your rings or, your, you know, like different stuff like that. And uh, mage armor is, is basically the body, and, the body, the legs, and the head, oh, okay, the body and the legs are basically, it's either going to be light armor, medium armor, or heavy armor, and how I'm the game doing it in this game, light armor is equal to mage armor, and uh, uh, leather, light armor is actually the medium armor, how it does it, and then heavy armor is, is basically heavy armor. So mage, light, and heavy is how I'm doing the three tiers, you know how like cloth, leather, like chain mail or you know cloth leather plate mail 
So uh, mage armor, light armor, heavy armor is how I'm setting it up to do. Uh, limit burst is a skill type that for using your TP. I'm adding the skill type black mage ability and black magic as a skill type. So state rates, I've got several different states. You may want to add your own states and set your own rates. Now I've given the black mage a certain resistance to the basic um, DOT spells like burning, shield, shock, soak, rock, dizzy. All the spells that are inflicted from, uh, um, from another black mage and also like chance to hit from some creatures you may like if you get attacked by a fire elemental or something you may it may inflict burning on you but the black mage since it's a master of the elements has a resistance to those elemental attacks that's how i see it um i've given all of my classes um ex parameters of a standard regeneration for hp and or mp and the the average will be about five percent total so the black mage is going to get a four percent mp regeneration rate and it's one percent hp regeneration rate once i wanted uh once again i wanted to capitalize on the fact that the black mage is squishy has low max hp and a very slow hp regeneration so uh it had to have some downfall you can kill it quickly um so i think that makes sense okay so that's it um we're going to come back to the classes to look at the levels if i forget i'm going to just scroll down so you can pause to see the level of every skill real quick i'm going to come back and do this at the end and hopefully I don't forget but I want to show you the levels that you get all the skills really quick just in case okay boom let's go to the skills so um, I've set a category here black mage and put everything in the same spot to make it simple and easy I recommend organizing your skills because projects get messy especially when you have thousands of skills so organize them to by class makes sense not everything is completed blaze spikes uh, you know a case control showed me a good method that I never really put in um, so I might add blaze spikes in, but there's plenty of stuff here, so it's okay. Uh, Monofont is the ability, uh, before we jump into this, I'm going to jump over to types and come back. So the types that we're using in the game, weapon shield, head, earring, neck, back, shoulders, chest, waist, wrist, hands, rings, legs, feet, relic, and limit burst, all of those, way too many guys. Um, but basically kept the armor types the same. The weapon types are here. Um, you'll need to add... Um, if you're using the same elements, keep the same default ones, but I've added some, some separate ones. You may need to add, um, basically keep the same the ones as the default, basically because we're using fire through wind, you know, and that's basically what it focused on, fire through wind. The master of the elements is a black mage. Uh, so basically you're going to add skill types. You're going to add, um, where's it at? Black magic, and you're going to add black mage ability. One for its ability types that are instants and cooldowns and take no resources, and then black magic for all of its spells. Um, the reason why you want to separate them, because if you get silenced, it shouldn't stop your abilities, but you need to handle how silence works, where it will cut off black magic, but it won't cut off your abilities. Um, that's why they're separated, and among other reasons. Um, so basically, uh, dagger and staff are what I'm using for the black mage, and that's it for the types. Jumping back to the skills. So Monofot is your um, your Black Mage ability. It only has three, so we'll get them out of the way first. It's going to reduce your spell cost to zero MP for five turns and a, and a magic attack power bonus. Bla uh, scope is going to be the user, because you don't want to be able to cast Monofont on other people or use Monofont. Uh, occasion only in the battle screen. I think it makes sense that way, so you don't waste it. It's a certain hit, and give it whatever animation you want. We're going to skip over certain details, okay? Um, because a lot of them will be the same. So in this one, we're giving a 30 cooldown and instant. We're going to um, add a state mana of font. Mana font, 100% chance. So let's look at mana font. What does that do? Well, we set it to a super high priority, so it shows first. Um, it's going to last five turns. It's going to have a state animation if you want. Um, the SP parameter, MP cost rate times zero. It's going to make all your spells cost nothing. And you're going to give it parameter, magic attack times 130, a 30% magic attack bonus. It's up to you if you want to put that in there or not. But that's it. Very simple, right? So you're going to just add that state to your mana font. Now, moving on to the next thing, Elemental Seal, increase magic attack power for three, three turns, very similar thing, uh, Black Mage ability, scope the user, battle screen, certain hit. Uh, adds a state of Elemental Seal, which we'll go and look at next, 10, ten turn cooldown and instant ability. So this state is uh, right here, and it's just the same thing, parameter change, magic attack plus 150%, three turns. Priority 50, doesn't really matter. I would recommend not doing 0 or 100, you can, but eh. Um, so... Mono Wall, the last one we're using, Yanfly's Absorption Barrier, here's the note tag for that. User, Barrier, 20 turns, colon, plus whatever amount you want, in this case, 1,000. You can also change this to be whatever you want. Cooldown can be whatever you want, but I've set it to the 10, and it's also an instant. So this is a certain hit, as custom animation if you want to. Black Mage Ability, it's the scope of the user, battle screen, 50 MP cost. You can also get rid of that cost. I don't know why Mono Wall has a cost. Oh, because it's actually adding a barrier. So I think... It's not enough cost. 
mono wall should be like a cost MP to use. I kind of feel like that's how it should work. That's why I put 50, but it should, in hindsight, it should cost quite a bit more. Let's say 500. Um, hopefully you have that at the time. It's a lot of MP though, maybe 250. This will be a number that I mess with, but anyway, you can give her to the cost if you want and just add more time, 15 cooldown or whatever. So looking at the next skills, a lot is going to be the same thing. So you can copy paste a lot, change icons and so forth, so on. Looking at this one, we're looking at a stone ability. It deals earth damage. If you want to add a uh, picture inside your description, you use slash I. This is why I said use a message core plugin. And you put in the number of the icon you want. And then you can even use color codes if you want by using slash C. And then put in the number of the co color code you want. And then also press type slash C after that so it doesn't color everything after that. But I'm not using color codes yet. I might add that later on when we're polishing. Ugh, excuse me. Uh, earth damage, the one target, so make sure you set the element to earth. Um, black magic, one enemy battle screen costs 9 MP magic attack. It gives it whatever animation. We're going to skip the animation and all the things down here from now on. So, HP damage, earth element, 100 plus users magic attack. 20% variance can critical. Poison. Now, this is different from Final Fantasy XI because it's going to actually deal damage. So, magic attack times 2, 20% variance, critical hit. Adds a state of poison 60% of the time. Now, this is how I've handled it. All the tier 1 elemental rates, uh, or uh, state rate things, are 60%. Now, all the tier 2s will be 80%. Tier 3s will be 95 to 100, up to your discretion. Um, maybe 99 makes sense. 95 makes sense, too. Um, I, I think I've set up to 100. The Tier 3 ones, like DR3, will always do the, the, the state. But anyway, um, we'll go into the, the DOTs, um, I guess, at the end when we go to the states. Because this is this is different, however you want to handle poison. You can make it a percent base. I highly dis don't recommend that. I would recommend looking into the plugin, uh, DOT plugin. I'm going to do a tutorial on that later, so this is going to be so bloated. Um, but we're going to add states that deal damage over time. Use the new DOT plugin from Yanfly Engine. Okay, so blind is going to add blind. This is just going to reduce your accuracy. I'm sure I don't have to describe what blind does. 60% um, chance. Uh, if you want to actually add a state to the note tag so it shows the icon and the name, you use slash IT and then in, in print, uh, brackets you're going to put the number. So if we look at our states real quick, I'll show you that this is number 5 and then it would add blind right there. So it would show this icon and then show blind. Uh, blind is EX perimeter hit rate minus 75% using state animation last 3-5 to five turns. Remove it in the battle. Um, you can take the remove it in the battle off if you want to. Whatever. Um, so it's also a magic attack. Water. Same thing as stone, copy paste stone, change this, change that, change that. Um, but except this time, um, every, how Final Fantasy XI does it is they don't actually create, uh, they don't copy paste their, their skills into the point where the damage form is the same. When you get stone, then you get water. Water is a little bit stronger than stone. When you get arrow, arrow is a little bit stronger than water. And it cycles through because by the time you get all the way through, you get thunder, which is the first, last tier one. When you get stone two, stone two is a little bit stronger than thunder one, but way stronger than stone one. So it cycles through stone, water, arrow, uh, then it goes fire, then it goes ice, then it goes thunder. And that's how it cycles in stone too, and so forth and so on. You'll see how we do that. Um, so you can see that in stone, it's 100 plus magic attack. And then when we get to water, 100 plus um, magic attack times two. And that's what changes between each one of these. Your parameters will come into bigger play. As we get to the end of this, it's going to be like times 20 when we get to like the tier five stuff and so. Uh, time, time, tier four, tier five. But the tier also determines the base value. So 100 plus, well, all, 100 will be the base value for all these. So the same thing, MP cost 13 on that. Uh, also, no cooldowns on the, um, the tier 1 spells. So wind, same thing. Uh, add wind to the description and all that. Black magic, 18 MP cost, magical attack. Uh, HP damage, uh, element wind, 100 plus users uh, magic attack times three all of these are 20% variance and ch chance to critical I recommend leaving that how it is but you can change it up to be whatever you want blaze spikes I'm still working on it and I've actually found a good method I just haven't I'm just lazy god why am I so lazy okay bio um, bio is adding a state that's basically like a poison it's another DOT use this to work the same way as poison but make it a separate state so that they'll stack uh, black mage uh, magic all these are black black magic I'm gonna admit that this is a scope one enemy um, if you're using target core, you're gonna have to add something to make sure that that works that way. Like I said, I might have to change to take out a target core. 15 MP cost, uh, magic attack times three, no base value because it's gonna use this value as its DOT. So you don't want this to be as strong as like arrow or fire at the point at the time um, because it's gonna hit for like five turns. So it's already strong. It's probably way too strong. Um, I might need to nerf that. Setting it to venom damage, you can change it to whatever you want. Cooldown two. So this is where the cooldowns start to come in, except for fire and shock. 
Uh, except, except for fire and, and thunder. Uh, okay, anyway, Drain. It's got a longer cooldown of 12 turns. Uh, magic attack times 3. It's going to be set to the damage type of HP Drain. You could also use the Lifesteal plugin to make this work. It's up to you, however you want to do it. 20 MP cost, 21 MP cost, and uh, magic attack. Okay, these are all magic attacks, so they all have custom animations, most of them. Uh, and so we'll emit all of this. Invocation message, all that. Um, scope, one enemy, occasion... Actually, all of these are the same, except for the Agas. So we'll say this... This, okay, that's, that's a good method. So, scope 1 enemy, 21 MP cost, HP damage, dark element for drain, uh, magic attack times 3, and emit, and 12, 12, 12 turn cooldown. Okay, I think that's a good system. So, fire. We're going to be dealing fire damage in the element. Black mate, uh, no, 1 enemy, 24 MP cost, uh, 100 plus magic attack time power, magic attack power times 4. I think I need to slow down. Okay. But man, there's just so much to do. Stonega, this is going to be all enemies, 37 MP cost, uh, 100 plus magic attack power times 2 earth element. Shock is going to uh, apply a DOT. Use the new DOT plugin to make that work to your liking. 5 turn cooldown, 25 MP cost. Um, this could also be set to uh, an element right here or element right here using Yanfly's element core. But I would change the element rate in the DOT plugin so the state would have that, would control the element rate. But it will be Thunder. Blizzard, uh, you can see the magic attack power is going up 100 plus times 5, magic attack power times 5. Ice element, 1 enemy, 30 MP cost. Rasp is going to be the earth version of a DOT. It's going to add a state of rock, uh, just like these will add shock. Um, you can set that to be however you want. I'll go over those really quickly. What's the number for those again? 35. So the, all of these states that are adding the this the element basic uh, DOTs like burning, bl chilled, blo uh, shocked, soaked, all that, they're they're changing element rate. So when you're soaked, you're going to take 25% more damage from water, and you're going to be dealt a DOT for five turns. So if you're going to hit them with like a big nuke, you might want to curse them with it by soaking them and then hitting them with giant flood right it makes sense so that there's some sort of strategy you'll up your damage by 25 percent and when you're breaking the damage cap dealing 30,000 damage you could actually do a lot more um so water ga it's the same thing as water i believe so let's look at water real quick where was water it was right here so okay, so the, the the damage formula changes slightly, but the the MP cost changes dramatically. So in water, 100 plus uh, magic attack times uh, not magic attack power times two. Water gut it goes up one rank, so it'll be times three. But look at the mana cost; it's 47 in water gut, and for water it's 13. So the aga spells are quite a bit more expensive, and they have cooldowns. So cooldown six on that. Also scope of all enemies, since it's all the gust spells will be all enemies. Sleep adds a state of sleep. Um, really, really simple state to do. Uh, that's state 10. Might be in default. I'm not sure if it is by default. It basically just set evasion rate. Well, this is a, a modification that I've made. If you're asleep, you're not going to be able to dodge attacks. So evasion rate minus 100%. Um, but basically, you just say cannot move. And also, remove by taking damage 100%. That means if you get hit, you wake up 100% of the time. Um, so that's how I set it to work. Chope, same as the Shocked and all that stuff. DOT, um, reduce its uh, element rates, or re increase the element rate so that it's times 125%. They'll take 25% more wind damage for five rounds. Also the DOT. Um, also, I've added debuffs to them. It also reduces the defense. You can see how I've done this by right inside the effects instead of a part of the state itself. So they'll reduce their defense for Choke. Rasp is, reduces agility. You know, they all have their own, so... Uh, what well, was shock would reduce its luck and so forth and so on. <clears throat> Where will we at? Choke is right here. Thunder, uh, magic attack power times six, 37 MP cost. No cooldown because it's still the tier one element. Frost, the DOT, reduce magic defense and increase ice damage 25%. So 25 MP, uh, cooldown of five. Aroga is your AoE version of arrow. Magic attack power times four plus the base of 100. 47 MP cost, cooldown of six. We're, I think we're catching up some speed here. Poison Gut. It's the, just basically add the same, you don't need another state for Poison Gut. Keep the same state as your Poison, but make this one all enemies. 44 MP cost. I've upped the, the price on it because it's just powerful in this game. Since I've allowed it to deal damage and then add a DOT, adds up quite a, 
pretty fast. So, um, yeah, burn, same thing, reduce magic attack, and uh, add the state, the DOT, that does fire damage for five turns, 25 MP cost, uh, also increases fire damage taken by 25%. Aspear, I'm using MP Drain, you could also use the Lifesteal plugin to do this. Um, if you want a dark element, very low number on Aspear because it's going to take a lot of MP and usually MP is like 5 to 1. So you might even want to go like times divided by 2 on that. It's up to you. So I've just set this to drain the amount of uh, magic attack power you have. Uh, 12 turn cooldown, I might actually up that later on. It's like 15 turns. Uh, stone 2, now we're getting to the next tier. So you notice that all of those damaging spells um, that had a formula in them were 100 plus a certain set. Now we get to the tier 2. And to justify the higher MP cost and the cooldown, we're increasing the base value by 100. So now all the tier 2s have 200 base plus a higher multiplier. So still earth damage, but now we're adding times 7 with a 200 base. 43 MP cost return cooldown. Drown is still part of the first tier. Um, I, I'm thinking about adding like Drown 2. Maybe I've already done that. I don't know. And like all of those 6 to tier 2 ones. Maybe I will. I don't know. There's so many skills already from the Black Mage. I don't think I will. Um, 25 MP cost on that. Reduce attack, increase damage taken uh, by water damage for five turns, as well as the DOT for five turns. Firaga is steal the tier one, uh, seven uh, turn cooldown, 71 MP cost, 100 plus magic attack power times five. Water two, 51 MP cost, three turn cooldown, 200 plus magic attack power times eight. Sleepga, you're going to add that same state just like how you did poison. You don't need a separate state for poison, poison gun. You don't need a separate state for sleep and sleep gun because you're just scoping it larger. You're saying all enemies get the 60% chance to be put to sleep. 10 turn cooldown. Lizaga, um, still tier 1, but we're going to, um, oh, it's an AoE, so it's got a cooldown. 8 turns, 82 MP cost, 100 plus magic attack power times 6 ice element. Arrow 2, 200 plus magic attack power times 9. I think by now you might be seeing a pattern. Every time you get to the next uh, tier, you add 100 to the base value. Or I think I double it at some point. And then every time you go to the next powerful nuke, you add a multiplier to it. But the MP cost goes up as well. So 3 turn cooldown, 59 MP cost. Bio 2 is adding, a, copy paste your bio and increase the numbers. And uh, also, a thing about when you add multiple states, you don't want bio and bio 2 to stack because they don't stack in Final Fantasy XI. So let's look at our, uh, not comment, our type, nope, sorry, states for bio 2. Matter of fact, let's figure out which one it is so I'm not searching, a little tactic, 58. So going to our states, number 58. Let's look at bio 2 and bio 3. So bio, by itself, uh, it is the opposite of dia. Dia reduces your attack, adds a DOT, and it's a light-based uh, element. Bio, on the other hand, is the opposite. Reduces your... What did I say attack? Dia reduces your defense. Bio reduces your attack. Um, but they're light and dark. So, Bio is dark, and you don't want Dia and Bio to stack. They never have in Final Fantasy XI, and that's why I've kept it this way in Final Fantasy... I'm sorry, RPG Maker MV. <sighs> So this is going to um, increase the damage that you take from Venom by 130 is too much. 125. Ugh. Attack reduced by 10%, and you're going to add a state resist. You want to go here, state resist, and reduce. make sure that Bio resists Dia, and Dia resists Bio. So if you have Dia on you, you can't be hit with Bio. Now, I know that in Final Fantasy XI, they replace each other. But in this game, the best way I can make it work was if you have one on, that's got to expire before you can put the opposite. But you can overwrite Dia with Bio 2. Because Dia doesn't resist Bio 2, and so forth and so on. So how you go these, set this, the Tier 2s to a slightly higher priority. You use the, don't do all this code. Use uh, the new plugin, the, the um, DOT plugin, to do this, the damage. This is going to... Um, I need to go through and change some of these numbers because they are slightly too high. Increase the damage you take from a certain element, Venom, uh, or you can set it to Dark if you want. Uh, I've made Bio and Poison its own thing, Venom, but you can set it to Dark. And In hindsight, I should have just kept it simple that way with Dark. Uh, reduce the attack by 20% by setting attack times 80%. Re make the Bio 2 resist Bio 1, Dia 2, and Dia, or Dia and Dia 2. Uh, five turns, uh, and that's it. So Bio 3 will do the same thing. In every tier, you're going to add the state resist for the subsequent ones. So um, I actually need to go through Dia and change that, but I'll do it later because I, this is too long. Okay, um, 
yeah, that works fine. So, Bio 3 will be um, Venom damage or Dark damage times 140% to increase the damage you take from it. So, if you put Bio and then Poison, they will stack and still deal more damage because of the, um, the way that the element rates multiply each other. You know, it'll be like times 1.4 times 1.2, it's going to add up and it'll take more damage over time. So, it's a good strategy to stack those element weaknesses. Um, which I like the idea of adding that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, state resist on bio three. You're gonna resist bio two bio. You're gonna you're gonna resist dia one two three, and on dia you do the opposite as well. Wherever I put that. Anyway, we'll come back to it. The the black mage doesn't get dia. That's a white mage and red mage thing. So moving on after bio two. It's a five turn cooldown. I think I already did that. So add that sixty percent chance. Magic attack power times five, probably too strong. I mean, bio strong. 66 MP cost on that. I think to, sub, to make that, you might want to increase the, the numbers. I have fudged the numbers a little bit to make, if I know it's too strong, I'll make it cost more just to balance it out. So Thundaga is the still tier one AOE, 95 MP cost, nine turn cooldown, uh, 100 plus magic attack power times seven. AOE, all enemies. So fire two, 200 base since the tier two uh, spell, uh, spell. Uh, magic attack power times 10. 68 MP cost, three turn cooldown. Fire element. Uh, Stone Aga 2. Now we're getting to the tier 2 uh, Aga spells. So all of these, like I said, Aga spells are all enemies. They start to cost a lot. 109 MP cost, 200 plus a magic attack power times 8. Um, Earth element, nine turn cooldown. Sleep 2. Now it's the same thing as sleep, but you want to make a, a higher chance to inflict that state. So once again, you don't need to add another state. Um, if you... Uh, if you keep the same the same state, you can use it for all the tiers and the AOEs and not. So one sleep state will work for sleep, sleep two, sleep three if you want, uh, sleep go, sleep go two, sleep th sleep go three if you want. So all you need is one state for all of that. So just change the percent chance that it lands to 80%. Uh, 29 MP cost, um, one enemy, 12 turn cooldown. Blizzard two. So this is ice element, 77 MP cost, 200 plus magic attack power times 11, uh, three turn cooldown. Poison 2, it's adding the next tier of poison. So, same thing, copy paste poison, increase the numbers. 60% um, chance. Wait, wait, nope. That should be. Oh, oh, okay. Now, the reason why this poison 2 is not actually giving an 80% chance to poison, because I've made poison, bio, and dia have multiple tiers of power. So, it's not getting an 80% chance to poison, but you could do that. It's getting a, still a 60% chance to add a higher, stronger poison. Which won't stack because poison two would re resist state on poison. So, yeah, hopefully you, you follow me, so poison and poison two don't stack. You can do whatever you want in your game. This is a template, but I'm just trying to show you how I do it. 38 MP cost, uh, magic, attack, magic attack power times four, uh, three turn cooldown. Water get two, 200 plus magic attack power times nine, 123 MP cost, 10 turn cooldown. Stun. Now this is adding a separate state that's like paralyze. So um, I think you guys could figure out how to do stun. Uh, let's just look at it anyway. 15. Uh, state 15, so stun is simple. It's basically cannot move. One to two turns. That's it. State animation is optional. Thunder 2. Lightning element 200 plus magic attack power times 12. You see how it's starting to add up. So cooldown of two of three. I had these cooldowns longer, but I just reduced them all because it got to a point to where you'd have to wait like 30 turns to use your highest skill. It's just like, that's your two-hour ability. It shouldn't take that long, right? Um, so... Uh, two hours is a metaphor for 30 turns. Just, if you play Final Fantasy XI, you understand what two hour ability means. Because it changed to one hour even. <laughs> uh, Thunder 2, uh, Lightning Element, 86 MP, 3 turn cooldown. Uh, I already, okay. Aeroga 2 is your tier 2 uh, AoE for wind. Uh, 138 MP, 11 turn cooldown. Uh, 200 plus magic attack power times 10. Freeze. Now we start to get to our arcane magic. Now, it. We're, we're going to use a damage core note tag in here. So we're going to break the damage cap for these skills. And how you do that is just have the plugin installed, the damage core, and type in a note tag damage cap colon and then the number of the cap you want the skill to have. So this will bypass the parameter of the plugin's hard cap, which is 9999 for my game. And then, well, I guess it's a soft cap, right? It's just your, your standard cap for all abilities. Unless otherwise stated, all abilities and attacks will have the 10,000 damage cap. Um, and this, these abilities cost a ton of MP. They do a lot of damage, but they have a long cooldown. I actually should probably increase the cooldown on them, but we'll get to that later. 
uh, but we're going to add um, the the damage cap right there. So we can do up to 100,000 damage with this. So these are your boss field. I'm, I definitely need to change the cooldown. So maybe you want to add a little bit of the cooldown. Um, they definitely cost enough. But basically, this adds a, di a, a unique state. Let's get into it. 370 MP cost. Um, 1,000 for the tier 1 base damage for our arcane magic. For um, ancient magic, as I think is what it's called. Magic attack power times 20 plus your level times 20. So it's a different formula from the others. Um, but it's going to add a state of fire cursed. Now what does fire cursed do? Similar to what the like the the, um, the DOTs do. Um, let's state 154. It, it's like it'll increase the damage you take from a certain element. So it's just like uh, when you're burning or something like that. So all the curse spells. These are simple. Basically, they last five turns, removed it in the battle, but they change your element rate to this amount times 50%. So when you use these magics to start off with, um, you'll add a state that stacks with the burning. So you light them a fire, you cast flare on them. So the next turn, you're going to still do a ton of damage because they're taking 50% more damage from fire curse, and they're taking 30% more damage or 25% more damage from the um, burning. Right, so you're going to deal 75% more damage on your fire three, which you know, I think it's just an, a little bit of element extra stuff to add reason to stack um, element stuff like that. But anyway, 15 15 turn cooldown, you might want to increase that to like 30. I don't know. It's up to you. Stone three, um, 92 92 MP cost, five turn cooldown, 300. Since now we've got to the third tier, we went through the whole cycle of abilities again. Oh my god, and then. We're changing the base value again. So the base value on this now is going to go from 200 to 300 to the tier 3 consecutively. So 300 plus magic attack power times 13. Uh, and that is a 5 turn cooldown. Tornado is the next uh, ancient magic. It's going to do the same thing as... Okay, you notice that Freeze didn't add a wind... Uh, a, uh, I, think, I think I said Flare and you'll increase your fire weakness it's not exactly how it works it's weird i don't know why it does this in final fantasy 11 but i kept it the same so when you freeze them you're adding fire cursed now ice is weak to fire so i don't know how that works out but this is how it works when you freeze them they take fire they take extra damage from fire so that's so that you can cycle through you use freeze then you use flare and then flare will give you the next one which i think is water curse then you use flood and so forth and so on so it, it, you may think like, wait, this is an ice spell. Why is it cursing to fire? This is how it works in Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 11. I don't know. Ask Square Enix. So Tornado, since wind is weak against ice, when you use Tornado, it's going to add ice cursed. This is how it works. So 322 MP cost. 15 turn cooldown. Might want to increase that. Damage cap break to 100,000. Uh, we're doing a base damage of 1,000 plus magic attack power times 21. Since it's a higher level, it's gone up slightly a little bit, but not very much, right? Only thing it's affected by is one more, you know, magic attack power. That's it. And higher MP cost. Um, so you get it at a higher level, it costs a little bit more MP. It just needs to be powerful, more powerful. And it works in the same cycle. You know, earth, wind, uh, what is it? I'm sorry, earth, water, wind, uh, fire, ice, thunder. So, uh, the same thing, uh, 1,000 plus magic attack power times, 20, times 21 plus level times 20, adds Ice Curse. Okay, moving on. Fire Raga 2, 200 plus magic attack power times 11, costs 158 MP, cooldown of 11. Quake is going to do 1,000 plus magic attack power times 22 plus level times 20, adds the Wind Curse, 337 MP costs, 15 turn cooldown, 100, uh, breaking the damage cap to 100k. Water 3, there's a lot of spells, I know, I'm sorry. So, Water 3 is going to do 98 MP cost. Uh, it's going to have 5 turn cooldown, 300 damage, and magic attack power times 14. Moving on to Sleepka. It's the same thing as Sleep, except 80% chance to inflict it on all enemies. 58% MP, uh, 58 MP cost with a cooldown of 15. Burst is the next Ancient Magic. It's going to do 1,000 damage, magic attack power times 23, plus level times 20. Adds Earth Cursed, 15 turn cooldown, breaks the damage cap of 100k. 352 MP cost. Blizzard, Blizzaga 2, AoE, 200 plus magic attack power times 12, uh, 175 MP cost, 12 turn cooldown. Flood, 1000 plus magic attack power times 24, uh, times level times 20, adds Thunder Curse, 363 MP cost, 15 cooldown, 100k uh, damage cap break. Arrow 3, you're going to do 300, now we're into the, okay, 300 plus magic attack power times 15, 106 MP cost, 5 turn cooldown. We're going to try to keep it simple. Okay, Flare... 
383 MP cost, 15 turn cooldown, 100k damage cap break, uh, water curse on this one. I wanted to say wind, I don't know. 1000 plus magic attack power times 25 times, uh, plus uh, level times 20. 383 MP cost. Thundaga 2, uh, 193 MP cost, 13 turn cooldown, 200 plus magic attack power times 13. Fire 3, 113 MP cost, 5 turn cooldown, 300 plus magic attack power times 16. Stone Ega 3, Tier 3 AoE spells. MP cost goes up a lot. Uh, these are very, probably won't be used very often unless you're fighting a lot of things because it's not worth the MP cost. Uh, 211 MP, 13 turn cooldown, 300 plus magic attack power times 14. Blizzard 3, 120 MP, cost five, uh, cooldown 5, 300 plus mag uh, magic attack power times 17. We're almost done, guys. Water Ega 3. 231 MP cost, cooldown to 14, 300 plus magic attack power times 15. Thunder 3, 128 MP cost, 5 turn cooldown, 300 plus uh, magic attack power times 18. Aeroga 3, 252 MP cost, cooldown to 14 turns, 300 plus magic attack power times 16. Stone 4, tier 4 spells, getting there. 138 MP cost, 7 turn cooldown. 400 now as a base value, which might need to be higher. I don't know. It seems to be fine because the parameter keeps going up high, 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 high. So this becomes less and less of a thing. Uh, attack power, magic attack power times 19. Fyraga 3, 300 plus magic attack power times 17. 15 turn cooldown, 277 MP cost. Water 4, 144 MP cost, 400 plus magic attack power times 20. 7 turn cooldown. Blizzaga 3. 299 MP cost, 15 turn cooldown, 300 plus magic attack power times 18. Arrow 4, 150 MP cost, 7 turn cooldown, 400 plus magic attack power times 21. Fire 4, 157 MP cost, 7 turn cooldown, 400 plus magic attack power times 22. Thundaga 3, 323 MP cost, 15 turn cooldown, 300 plus magic attack power times 19. Blizzard 4, 164 MP cost, 7 turn cooldown, 400 plus magic attack power times 23. Thunder 4, 171 MP cost, 7 turn cooldown, 400 plus magic attack power times 24. Stone 5. Now, these are things that I made up. These might be... I, wait, it actually goes to... These weren't in the database. Okay, they're in the game, but they're, they're not... Like, like, I made these numbers for the MP cost up. So fudge these in the last tiers for the game however you want and add the next ones however you want. Follow this kind of pattern. You can use math to kind of calculate how much you think it should cost. Like look at the difference between tier 3, tier 4, and then uh, you can see like a, a ratio. And then take that uh, value and multiply it and be based on the tier 5s and that can give you the next tier 6. Take that same ratio, get the tier 7. And you can you can scale these up to you however you want. Just use a little bit of math. So tier 5, we're doing base of 500 plus magic attack power times 25, 222 MP cost, cooldown of 9. Water 5, 239 MP cost, 500 plus magic attack power times 26, cooldown of 9. Arrow 5, 255 MP cost, uh, cooldown of 9, 500 plus magic attack power uh, times 27. Aspear 2, you can use the life, life drain, life steal plugin to change this how, how it works if you want. Um, but if you don't, you can use MP drain, uh, element of dark. Uh, magic attack power times three. You want these to be a low number. Might even make that two because it's stealing MP. Um, five MP cooldown because Aspear just has a low. I'm sorry, not cooldown. Five MP cost because Aspear has a very low MP cost so that you can actually use it quite uh, quite when you're quite out of MP. Fifteen turn cooldown though. I want to add um, a lot of cooldown to your drain abilities. Break is a, a custom state that I created. Petrified. 60% chance to add petrification. Uh, it might want to reduce. I've kept it to follow the, the convention of tier 1 is 60%, tier 2 is 80%, and so forth. But this is a strong spell because it basically marks them as they're dead. So if you, you saw in the beginning of this video, when I petrified one of the bandits and then killed the other, the other bandit was still there, but the victory music started playing and the guy's just there. Because he's petrified, he's countered as he's dead. He'll never be unpetrified unless you... Uh, use it like uh, something like a soft on him or, or a skill like a Suna that removes it, you know. So if you're petrified, you're countered as dead. If your party gets petrified, it's game over. Cooldown of 15 on this, 39 MP cost. Um, low cost for such a powerful skill. But I think uh, the I think it's uh, awarded 
level 99 or some some high level you know you got to be really towards the end of the game to actually get the skill uh fire 5 270 mp cost 9 turn cooldown 500 plus magic attack power times 28 a couple more blizzard 5 282 mp cost 9 turn cooldown 500 plus magic attack power times 29 and finally your strongest you know parameter basic right here without adding a lot and level is light uh, thunder 5 uh, 9 turn cooldown 325 mp cost 500 plus magic attack power times 30. Oh my god, guys. So much in this tutorial. I think we have to cut it off pretty soon. So to unlock the Black Mage, you can either start as a Black Mage, hire a Black Mage, or get the Black Mage testimony. It's, I'm not going to get into that system right now. Uh, staffs, some of the things I'm using in the staffs. You can look at how I'm using uh, skills to replace. Oh, I need to do that one skill, huh? Okay, so let's do one last skill. We're going to show you the replace attack. So when you use any of the staffs, you're going to get staff attack instead of just attack. So this is a skill that's, um, it, you're never going to get this skill unless you're using a staff. So when you use a staff, it, it replaces its attack. So this is um, basic staff attack. It has TP gain as 10, basically the same as your regular attack would have. Um, you're going to set this element to normal attack. And you're going to add state normal attack, one or the other, or both. And then give it a, a value. In my game, it's attack power times 3 plus a variable of 26. This is a variable called staff skill, which is was a bigger thing early on in the project. Right now, it's such a minor thing right now that you can get rid of the variable value. Don't even include it unless you have your own way of doing it. Uh, time. So it's the variables, whatever skill level you are, not gal skill level, no, mind you. This is a custom variable. Just, so get rid of this part. Just give it an attack times 3. It, it just makes sense that way. Or 2. It's a normal attack where I'm giving it multiple elements. So in my game, it's a physical attack, but it's also a blunt attack. So if you're using element core, do that. And I'm giving it the basic attack uh, animation, but I'm giving it like a, a different a different animation. I'm giving it like the neutral one Yanfly element. So it does like a little circle. It just just to make it stand out a little bit because attack is boring. Don't don't even use attack. Don't let your enemies use attack. Create custom ones. Use Yanfly's weapon replace. It's just so much better. Um, okay, so where was I at? Um, for the staffs, uh, I'm using text color. I'm using upgrade slots. This is for the highest tier. Um, it's going to be craftable. Using uh, replace attack. And when you use replace attack, if you're using the counter core, you also need to do counter skills and call that same skill. So when you get when you counter attack, you don't counter attack with the basic attack. You counter attack with staff attack. Because it makes sense that way. Uh, also letting it be dis uh, disassembled. But this is not really being used. And I'll probably phase out disassemble. But these are the two I wanted to show you. Uh, replace attack and counter attack. You want to use that. Um, so that it calls those skills using Yanfly's weapon unleash plugin. I'm also giving it a weapon image. Um, and it's, you know, like I said, text color and craftable and all that stuff. Uh, let's move on. What, this, the dagger is the same thing. So just use that for daggers too. Uh, mage, mage armor. Um, craftable. Using a text color for uh, the different tiers of mage armor that I can use. You know what? I, I'm not going to go into all the armors. It's just too long. Too much stuff. Anything else that I need to cover? Um, I think we, we basically went through enough to make that work. Make that work out fine. So, yeah, that's it, guys. <sighs> big, big uh, job making the... It took me, I don't know, weeks? Because I did a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. If I were to sit down and do that just straight, we're talking like 10 hours, 12 hours, probably longer. I don't know. It took me so long. But yeah, hopefully you like it. Uh, hopefully you can add the whole thing within a couple hours now that I've done all the calculations for you. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, Black Mage Final Fantasy, the most iconic. Uh, Black Mage in Final Fantasy is probably VV from Final Fantasy IX. But this is replicating the Final Fantasy XI Black Mage. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this tutorial ran on so long. But there was just so much to cover and I wanted to didn't want to miss anything. So you guys are awesome. Thank you for your support on Patreon. You're keeping me alive. Um, you could always subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Um, I have hundreds of RPG Maker Envy tutorials if you're interested in getting into making games. Uh, also, I have Game Maker Studio 2 tutorials if you're interested in a separate engine. You like making games but not uh, RPGs. You know, um, that's cool too. Why are you watching this if you're doing... <laughs> yeah, this is uh, definitely for MV fans. 
But yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it and would like to see more tutorials. Uh, back me on Patreon if you would like to increase the frequency of tutorials. Oh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.